Hey gang. Schlocktoberfest is still online. Well, actually it's here on YouTube, but enough of that. <laughs> With a review of fear.com dot com that's actually what you type in to go to the website according to this movie it's a website that makes its visitors commit suicide this is starting to sound kind of familiar the thing is if you log on to the website you have 48 hours to try and find a missing girl or you'll die or commit suicide starting to have a certain kind of ring to it, wouldn't you say? Well, Mike Riley is on the case to try and investigate what on earth is going on and he is being joined by a researcher named, uh, named Terry to try and investigate this whole doggone thing. Seems like anybody who, who logs onto this website commits suicide sometime afterward because it drives them nuts. I guess you could say there's a ghost in the machine. Because there actually is. It's a little girl trapped inside. And there's a serial killer named Pratt who's making all this happen. Tortures women, puts it on his website. I guess that's partially what makes people go crazy. So they try to figure out where the little girl is, what's going on with her, and also try to save a few lives in the process. But like I said, they later on find out that Pratt has been keeping the spirit of a little girl inside of a computer. Don't ask me how he does that. And so finally, Riley and Terry discover the location of where it's at because, well, as you might guess, they have no clue where it is. There's no location or anything. Can't be detected. They find out where it is. Pratt is killed off, but so is Mike. And Terry. Terry winds up living on as the movie ends. And the ghost of the little girl trapped inside of the computer is freed. And everything's alright. And fear.com.com is taken down for good happy ending so why did this movie suck well to tell you the truth it just seemed like it was a ripoff uh, several movies came out in the same year as this movie did and they all seemed to kind of have a similar theme to e with, e with one another and this was one of the bigger bombs of that year but to think but, but when you think about it I mean you have to do something within a certain amount of time or you will die not quite like a certain popular horror movie, but sort of. I mean, with that one, you you had no choice. You were pretty much done for. But I think there was a little ghost girl involved. In this one, you gotta find the ghost girl, or somehow you're gonna just wind up committing suicide like some idiot did who wound up jumping on some train tracks, got run over. So, yeah. And this is another one of Steven Dorff's movies that was just a big bomb and he's done a ton of them um uh sfw there's another one that was a big bomb uh alone in the dark <laughs> that one bombed big time so he's no stranger to bomb after bomb after bomb fear.bomb.com he apparently has none uh gore effects are not bad but the special effects are kind of lame um, and it was really, really annoying, and you're just sitting there the whole time going, I know what this movie is a ripoff of. It definitely has a certain kind of ring to it. Any of this ringing any bells? Anyway. But the movie, the movie sucked. Uh, it was just convoluted at times, shaky, scratchy, messed up, and just a real annoying, really, really annoying. I felt like I had motion sickness after watching it and during watching it. But there you guys have it, a review of Fear.com. 
Schlocktoberfest will keep going until Halloween. And I hope you guys will keep on watching. And that's when I will reveal my pick for the worst for last. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. Whether on your computer or you're on, on your on your phone or however you you get the internet. <laughs> so until ne until tomorrow, as always, stay strong and rock on. Okay. Uh oh. Looks like this is starting to give me a little bit of a virus. Maybe I can call somebody who can come over here and uh, fix the doggone thing.